what's up you guys welcome back to the channel it's my last day here in vegas it's 24th december with christmas eve and we are heading to red rock canyon national park which is around uh, half an hour drive from my current stay today we have a flight at around 3 pm so this would be the last stop uh, in vegas i think there is one more thing that's there in the plan but we are not sure if we would be able to make it there is a place called samba latte which makes a uh, very good uh, art design on the lattes so they have one famous which is the rainbow latte so we want to try that but i'm not really sure if we would be able to make it in plan so let's see let's first go to red rock canyon park and see uh, check that place out and then see if we can go to samba latte before we head out to the airport so i'll see you at the red rock canyon so I am right now at Red Rock Canyon and I didn't know that they need reservation on federal holidays. So I had to go back to a to an area where I could get some network and then uh, book a reservation for uh, entry around 9 a.m. and then get in. So that was a hassle but yeah, just for information, just check out these details before you go to any of these national parks because some places have KOs and you can directly pay there, you don't need any reservation like it was there in Death Valley but here we had to do it before we come in. So that was another thing I got to know today. So there is a scenic drive so we are going to take that now. There was an information desk here and the woman there was very helpful and she helped us identify some of the easy trails that we could do because today the park is closing at 12 and even we don't have time we need to leave by 11 anyway so I think Samba Latte is going to be off the list today because this place is really nice and we don't want to squeeze in Samba Latte and then rush rush the whole time so that's why we're going to enjoy this place and then leave we already have coffee that we took from uh, our Airbnb. Really small one is a young one, al oh. almost just hatched. It's about six months to a year old. And then you can see they're growing. And then these are the big roughly oh. about 35, maybe 45 years. Yeah, and they can 45. live even longer. Yeah, they can live to 70, 60 to 70 in the wild. If they're in captivity as a, someone's pet, they can live 80 to 90 years old. Wow. Yeah, so they're desert tortoises. They're a federally protected species. They're hibernating, hibernating okay. which in, in uh, reptiles it's called brumating. Okay. A little different, but they're underground in their burrows. Getting to enjoy my coffee at a place like this, I couldn't have asked for anything more. Anyways, we're gonna go to the last spot. I think the 14 number. Oh, you guys gotta go do the petroglyph. Yeah, that's yeah, where we're going thing. now. Yeah, we'll you see you there. say hi okay. to my channel? Raul. Oh yeah, hi Ra uh, Raul, Teslim. Very nice meeting you. We'll see you at the petroglyph place. Yes. And you. we'll see you in Kenya. Yeah, yeah. nice <laughs> to meet you. Teslim, what's the last name? Halai, H-A-L-A-I. Teslim Halai on YouTube, you guys. Hit like and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye, guys. Bye bye. Have a good day. Bye. bye. Nice to meet you. you. Same here. I just met a couple of people who are also YouTubers and uh, they are here to film a video, which was awesome. And guess what? They and me, we both had the same camera setup, but they had a gimbal attached and I don't have a gimbal yet. But we had the same camera and the same lens, which was cool. And it was nice to meet other people who are also on YouTube. Initially, I was really shy or conscious to say that, hey, I also have a channel. They were, they were very vocal about it that they have a channel. I was just like, should I say or not? I get really conscious in public, but I did end up saying and then hopefully if things work out, we can even collab in the future. It's a very far-fetched thought though, because we stay in Missouri and I don't know where they were from. So. But yeah, you never know with whom you'll cross your paths. I think that's the best part of traveling. 
that you get to meet and greet so many new people and uh, you learn from each and every experience that you have I, i mean the trip is ending now we are going to the last spot and i'm getting really sentimental because i don't want it to end so far i have had so much of fun in the last 5 days the, the roads were beautiful the drive was beautiful it's like worth every second you spend here i am not someone who indulge a lot of in uh, uh gambling or uh, things like that so the vegas trip was just one sort of an attraction it was okay but it's not the thing for me but these national parks here near vegas i think they are beautiful we all decided to do the last spot together it was a small hike to reach the petroglyphs which is nothing but some handprints and carvings on the rocks which were used by native americans as a way to communicate <laughs> I believe rock art images were created for special purposes such as ceremony, astronomical events, or for making migratory routes. Others believe they represent a form of visual communication and indicate where areas like hunting grounds or water sources are located. Here are your petroglyphs. This guy. Up of oxidized material clay and dust. Petroglyph pecked into the desert of Ardish revealed a lighter colored stone. No, it doesn't. Got a hand print. Hand print. We are done sightseeing Red Rock Canyon and we are on the way to the airport. Unfortunately, while filming, I brushed a cactus plant due to which all the thorns are stuck to my pant and it's like I couldn't remove all of those. They are very tiny ones. So I need to change my pants. So I'm going to go stop at the visitor center quickly, change and then head to the airport. It's such an annoying thing to have a thorn stuck in your pant and it's like pricking me now. It's like highly annoying. I'm finally at the airport. I've returned my car. I just need to go and check in my bag and then get through the security. So before I leave Vegas, I thought of ending the vlog. I'll reach home in a couple of hours. but i think this is the right place to end the vlog because what happens in vegas stays in vegas so thank you so much for watching the vlog if you like the video give a big thumbs up if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and i'll see you guys very soon till then bye bye take care and happy holidays